All right, ladies and gentlemen, we uh, are back at it again, and this time we're going to hook up our ammo counter to a UI widget. And we're going to go a little bit faster, so that way this video is not going to be quite as long. So here we have all of our logic that we just made. I cleaned it up a little bit, and I added a nice little comment, which is very important. I like comments. I like to have everything organized so that if anybody looks at it in the future, things will be easy to read because if you look at all this what what does this say to you if if we didn't just build this together it would you would have to write you would most likely have to write this out to figure out what's actually going on here but since someone says reload logic and we named our little uh, custom events appropriately it, it, you can get a good idea of what's actually happening here which is nice all right <clears throat> so first thing we're going to do uh, let's let's create let's create a new folder. We're gonna call this our UI folder. You don't have to do this. I just like to keep everything nice and organized. And we're gonna create a widget blueprint. We're gonna call this Player UI, and we're gonna open this up. All right. So here we have pretty much everything. Uh, this is our canvas panel, which is basically what. Uh, contains everything that you can put on it and you can uh, put this on the screen so first thing we're gonna do is we're going to add a text box pretty much that's all we're going to have and we're gonna put it right about there yeah right about there all right and the next thing we're gonna do we're gonna anchor it to the bottom right so that way no matter what's like however this is resized it will always be down here uh, let's change the color should we now nah, let's just leave it like that all right so we're in the designer so this is our little text blog this is gonna work where, where our ammo is gonna be held so now let's go to this graph over here and there's so there's a, a better programming practice way to do this than what we're about to do but we're gonna clean everything up as we go along as we get to it right now we're just gonna get to do everything as we need it so uh, do we need to do that? Yeah, let's just go ahead and do it. All right, so we're going to do ammo. We're going to do clip. And we're going to do reserve. We're going to change these both to integers. All right, so let's just delete this shit. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to cast to first person character. And we're going to on the convent construct. Can I not spell? All right, so basically Right off the bat, we're gonna do get player character. Da -da -da -da. We're going to set the clip, set the reserve, ammo and clip, and ammo reserve. And we're gonna set these. So basically, right as this widget is is uh, created, it's going to get. Hmm, it's going to set these values to them just right off the bat, which is nice. And then we're going to bind. Actually, we need to. We're not going to do this, actually. All right, I have a better way. All right, so what we're going to do is display and we're going to change this to a string boom and then we're going to 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 string to string append we're going to do that same trick that we did in the first one and basically we're just going to double append so that way it looks nice and clean and Fantastic. All right. So there we have it on the construct. And then we're going to bind this text to our display text, which will 
do that. And now we're going to do a custom event update UI. So we're going to update this UI. And basically what this is going to do is the same thing. It's just going to get that and uh, get whatever we have and then return it into the UI. All right. So now give me a second. I need to use the bathroom. I will be right back. All right. And we're back. So let's uh, get right in. So now we're going to go to our first person blueprint. And what we are going to do is we are going to move this out. And because we're using the event construct and it's going to call our our player and get the the ammo values out of him we're going to do the construct after we set all of this so we're going to create widget and if that didn't make sense don't worry just just understand that we have to create this blue we have to create this widget after we set these values so anyway so we're going to create a widget and then we're going to set that widget to our player ui that we just created up here and now we're going to well let's actually we're going to promote this to a variable and we're going to have an old one there from test. We're going to call this player UI. All right, and so now we're going to connect that up. We're going to add to viewport. And so this just adds it to the screen of the player. So now we have, ta-da at the bottom right we have it now it doesn't update or anything because we haven't created anything that does that it just does it the one time here and then we need to call that one so what we're going to do is we're going to create a custom event and this is just for organization purposes there's probably a better way to do this and we'll get to that a little bit later so we're going to do UI update and we're going to get this and we're going to cast to player UI and we're going to connect that and then as player UI we're going to update UI beautiful all right so what this does bam I was doing a little bit too much. All right, so this is all we need to do. And the reason we're doing this is just for organization's sake. Uh, it looks a little bit nicer whenever you do this. Uh, in my opinion, other people may have a different opinion. So when are we gonna need to call this? So every time we shoot, we, wanted, we want to uh, move the, or we want the number to show up as one less. So we're going to UI update after we shoot and also when we reload so we're going to ui update and so remember we have two branches on this one so we're going to connect both those branches to the ui update because it doesn't matter the result of either of these it just needs to update the ui and then we're just going to do the same thing down here there we go and up here the don't put it up here because these lead to this this is technically the end of the code these are just rerouting it to here think of this as kind of like it teleports the code to here and then it ends here well now it ends here all right anything else we should do i think that's good so let's save save let's play all right so it's starting to look a little bit better all right so another thing I kind of want to do we should we should honestly put it on a little bit of a delay right should we let's do it let's do it let's put it on a slight delay so it doesn't reload instantly how about 0.2 seconds Can you still shoot while you're reloading? Absolutely. In fact, you can shoot and reload at the same time. <clears throat> That's a no-go. 
Eh, that's okay for now. We'll just leave it. We'll just leave it instant. We'll actually make some advanced logic a little bit later. But for right now, that is a hooked up user interface system.